we might run over that cone, but it's close, wasn't it? Perfect. It's still standing. <laughs> now we're pulling a 6,500 pound trailer, correct? Correct. Eco boost truck, 2011 F-150. Yep. Rodney Grind from Mountain View Ford is up here driving. Harder part of this is just getting through the cones. Oh, he can do that fine. He's a good driver. I hope. Trailered much? Yeah. Well, even if you have no trailer experience, well, check out these curves. This thing's going work. going right through this thing. Unbelievable. Well, this is the EcoBoost motor, 365 horsepower, 420 foot-pounds of torque. But what makes this motor great is its torque curve. You get 90% of the torque from 1,700 RPM all the way up to 5,000. So, no matter what your driving condition, you step in the throttle, you got power to go. It's effortless. Oh yeah, they make this. This truck is sweet. When we switch over to the Dodge and Chevy, you're not going to feel the same thing. Question now, is there going to be a Toyota? Oh, I see it. Never mind. I see the Tundra. We have a Tundra, but it's not in our group. I had a lot of just kind of deep and. When I was in Romeo two years ago, I had a lot of body or frame flex in that Toyota. Boy, it was it was yeah. it was terrible. <laughs> I mean, the lineup there is the Dodge is probably the closest competitor, then the Tundra, and then the Chevy. Gotcha. Now That's the a... other group that left before us here in front of us has the Chevy and the Tundra. For their competitive vehicles and the feedback i get from them is that the tundra is just a little bit better than chevy so when we get in the chevy and you see how it performs you're going to get an idea i mean better power wise power it's very peaky uh it kind of lunges when it wants to go it doesn't know what gear it wants to stay in um at highway speeds it's not so bad for hauling the trailer uh, but you'll get a chance to drive that on the power portion of this when you start doing the drag racing, and you'll get an idea of how it uh, how it handles compared to the rest of the trucks. Here we are at this the stop, sign. stop sign. A little bit of acceleration. I'm trying to watch the RPM gauge there. This has got so much <laughs> torque and being a little wow. bit out here, you're going to slip. Yeah. Instant acceleration wheel slip right there with a 6,500 pound trailer behind Barely. us. If you let oh these God. guys get a little ahead of us, we might be able to do a little bit more here. It's a little drier. A little bit of acceleration. I'd like to see that. Um, let's go from a complete stop, Rodney. Punch it. Well, can't punch it. The wheel spin. <laughs> They're still spinning. The truck's skipping. Unbelievable amount of power, folks. This is a V6 we're setting in right here. Rodney's driving. Got a small grade, as you can see. We're going uphill. We're not having any problem catching these vehicles up in front of us. And not going to have any problem stopping either for this red light right here. No, the brakes are awesome. I mean, you can't even feel the weight back there at all. 6,500 pounds. I mean, you got the twin turbos, direct injection, variable cam timing, all working together to give that torque. Now how many horsepower again? 365 horsepower, but the trick is the torque. 420? Getting that 420 or 90% of the torque, no matter where you put that, peg the uh, tachometer. So no matter where the tag's the at. Torque, it's, it flattens out and you keep it. Yep. It doesn't fall off. No torque fall off. I mean, this truck, like I said, it'll accelerate uphill with 6,500 pounds. We get in the Dodge and the Chevy. Uh, they're going to struggle. A lot of fall off once you start going up that grade. There we are again, spinning the wheels. Slick roads. Slick roads. It's wet, but at the same time, you got to uh, attribute that to the attribute that to the uh, amount of torque this truck has. Straighter. We're going to turn left here, go okay. uh, west on 20. Getting on Interstate 20 West, leaving Six Flags over Georgia. Rodney's going to take this turn here. Ho hopefully, we make it on the interstate fine. Good braking once again. Rodney, we're trusting you with our life, sir, by the way. We have, we have a stranger back I mean, here beside me. A, the new six-speed transmission, the one that's in the <laughs> Super Duty, so it's it's extra tough, but it's got that low first gear. So right. it can, you can apply it all that the torque, torque to get your load moving. Go ahead and punch it. We're going to punch it right here, getting on the interstate. We're already going 55, 60 There's miles per hour. There. And Take a look at the RPMs. No matter where the RPMs are, we're accelerating. We're sitting at around 4,000 right now as Rodney drives. Now we talked about passing in that dyno test. Uh, can we please maybe pass this car? I'm sure that's what you're about to do. Now we're already at 75 and we're still accelerating with a 6,500 pound trailer behind us. Take a look at how fast we went by the car. Here we are, 75, 80 miles per hour on the interstate. Unbelievable in this 2011 F-150. Did you forget we're pulling a trailer? Yeah, you can't even feel it at all. Where'd the trailer go? It's, right? it's still back there, I hope. Yeah, it's there. There it is. What's in the trailer? 
We have uh, two water tanks in there for 6,500 pounds. We put it over the axles so the trailers are all equally balanced and in the same weight. That way the differences you're going to feel are in the trucks and not the trailers. I might add a note to what he just said, folks. He mentioned water tanks. Water moves when you're towing, when you're moving back and forth. At the same time, we're not feeling this trailer move a bit behind us. The water's still going to move in the tank. We're not feeling it. This frame on this truck's absolutely awesome. We do make sure that the water is, there's no air gap, so you don't have much of that coming off this exit. We're going to go around the top, back around, come back east. Let's go up and take a left to circle back around. Yep. And uh, by the way, it's... A little over 80 miles an hour, around 2,000 RPMs. Yeah, How many RPM at 80? Holy yeah. cow. 2,000. 2,000. Look at that. 2,000, 2,100 RPM, 80 miles per hour, 6,500 pound trailer. Folks, I don't think you're going to get that anywhere else, no matter where you go. Plus, they put the new E-Pass system in here, the electric power assisted mm -hmm. steering. You get a nice effortless steering gear. No matter what the road condition is, it feels smooth, it's easy. It'll is actually is help. he helping a Dodge truck? He's got a oh, no, no, just a car. Sign. I thought there was a Dodge truck pulled over, sorry. <laughs> He's still up there. But the E-Pass, you know, it actually compensates for road crown, so mm -hmm. it gives you that same feel. You don't get that little tug sometimes. Yeah. yeah on regular system, you got to hold the steering wheel up. Built Ford Tough right there in front of us. BFT Roundup 2011. Get a shot of the nav screen there. Lithia Springs, Georgia. We're at the off-ramp. Uh, we're on Interstate 20 West. Productivity screen. Oh, that's, that's just like the too. Super Duty, too. Mm -hmm. They introduced that from the Super Duty. They also had the 110 outlet in the back of the uh, console here. It's another. Sock on through that, Rodney. Eco trailer tow. Well, we're going now. I'm sure we'll hit another red light. That's Stay tight on him so we can make it through this light. It's kind of a short light. Okay. Short light in Atlanta. You hardly don't see those too often, folks. Only but... when we want to get down here. <laughs> Only well, when we need to get going. We're going to make it, I promise. <laughs> well, we got other, other trailers behind us, hopefully, get through too. Yeah. We'll just get back on and go east. Here we are, 20 east, getting back on the interstate. Let's take a look there. You see the Ford out front. I think that's a Platinum Series truck. We have the Chevy. Is that the 6.3 liter in the Chevy? Uh, the second five, truck? Three. Five five point three. I apologize. And then a 5.4 maybe in the third truck, or is that a 5.0? Um, I'm Should be a 5.0. 5.4? For, for the, for the uh, Tundra? No, no, for that Ford truck there. They're all EcoBoost. All EcoBoost. Every one of these are EcoBoost yes. trucks. With a Dodge up here that has a 5.7 Hemi. 5.7 Hemi. We're not allowed to pass him, are we? We got to stay in line. In here. I'd like to pass the Dodge. <laughs> but I can't. Well, you can if you want to. If it's clear, hey. you want to go over. We can pass this group because we're separate from this group. Okay, so he's got a 6,500 pound trailer. We have a 6,500 pound trailer. There's traffic everywhere around us. Let's see if you can just catch up to him. You can see the acceleration here. We have traffic beside us with no trailers. Accelerating, no problem. Now we're going to go ahead and get over. Rodney's going to give it some gas. I guess the Dodge up there, he got over too. But he's really not going anywhere. Tell you what, this V6 is really impressive. Going our way over to the far lane. It's gonna take some driving here. It's just tight on traffic. Yeah. We got about a mile left just to let you know we're off on the dash. Go ahead and shoot around there. pounds of wood do you think's in this Ford truck in front of us? <laughs> what would you guess, Rodney? 1,500? <laughs> a lot. I don't 2, know. 2,000? And this truck's payload's what? 3,060 3,060 pounds. pounds. Guys, you take that right there by about three in this truck and haul it no problem. It won't be squatting as much as this mm -hmm. 80 model Ford, 85 model Ford truck in front of us. So just to give you an idea, built Ford Tough, still running strong. Take a look at that truck in front of us right there. We also have the progressive range select in here so we can back this off, make it a five-speed transmission, mm -hmm. four-speed, even a three-speed transmission to help 
manage your load depending on what you're doing. Oh, so it's not just a, a yeah, gear shift. Sure it actually changes the programming to a three speed or a four, or four, four speed or five speed. You back out the higher gear so you can control your load in either driving conditions, weather, a bunch of hills. You use it to slow down? You could, yeah. technically. Does this have the braking, like I know we're in Romeo, it kind of have the trailer brake assist. Uh, it's got the integrated trailer brakes. What? what that'll do is help mirror the truck and trailer together so that uh, the brake forces that you put to the truck are evened out at the trailer. It's not just like a gain control, like you'll feel in the Chevy and the Dodge, it's just proportionate. Gotcha. This one actually helps mirror them together and you get effortless braking. Now does it have the engine braking like the Super Duty? It does not have the engine braking in the in the turbo model. Like in the turbo model, but it will in the gas model, or in the, uh, the 5.0. Or um, no, there's, there's no there's no engine braking other than the downshifts uh, programming okay. in the tow haul mode. Gotcha. Not a problem. But it does work very well. People have used it down hills where if you're at 60 miles an hour coming down a hill, you tap the brakes, it'll maintain that 60. It'll go above and beyond just downshifting using engine braking. It will actually apply the brakes if necessary to get you keep you at 60. So Rodney, what do you think about this V6 compared to what we have now at work in the V8s? I'll tell you what, it's night and day difference. In all honesty, I haven't had a chance to pull a trailer uh, with any of the stuff we have right now, unfortunately. But Just the power alone. We've got a trailer behind it and it feels like we have more power with a trailer than what we have back at deeper, the dealership without a trailer. Pull them so. Yeah. And we're going to switch up trucks here, folks. We're going to move to a different truck. Out a little wider and we're actually going to go up a little further. Let's go up further. The There's the first group right there. We're gonna hit the trucks behind us and then point it right towards. That's good right there. Right here. Yep. So here we are. We're parked. We're gonna switch up. Getting another truck here in just a minute, folks. Very good. We're gonna go over to the Dodge. Once it pulls in. There's the Chevy squatting down on 6,500 pounds. Yeah. Just so y'all know, folks. Yes, it was a V6. EcoBoost technology tons of power in this FX4 truck. What's your name, sir? Steve Whalen. Steve Whalen from Ford Motor Company here helping right us out. driver, trailer host, and uh, we're going to do the Dodge, and then we'll go back to an EcoBoost King Ranch, and then we'll do the Chevrolet Silverado, and you're going to see a world of difference on how each of these vehicles tow. So Ford's going to go all out and even put the EcoBoost in the King Ranch, take the gamble, put it in the Lariat. I don't think we're going to have any problem convincing folks on these trucks once they drive them. That one, there's one V6. Trip the block and it's, it's, it's one yeah, trip, it's that's all it's going to take. We have another gentleman here with us. Where are you from? Minneapolis. Minneapolis, Minnesota, here with us driving these trucks. What do you think about the V6? Smooth. Smooth nice. truck. Tons of horsepower, that's for sure. Very quiet. Very quiet. Smooth ride. Where's the Dodge at? Back seat. They got caught by that light. What it? Got How you doing? This play is where we ought to be. Actually, this is our, our training place. Go right inside Six Flags. Parking's right down to your right. So just go right to the Six Flags like you're going to enter it, and uh, we'll set you up there with registration and get you hooked up to do this. Must be looking for the best trucks in the world, right? That's it. Guys, we'll get in the Dodge here in a minute, and I'll play the video. I think he got, uh, got a little slow on the interstate and got behind us coming up that hill, and the red light caught him. He, he, he didn't keep up. But we're going to drive it and see what it's like. See you on a few. It's a long 